Hi everybody, Waxfraud here and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we are building a bridge over here and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Take care. First things first, go ahead and grab two pieces of land that you want to connect and go down and put your spruce logs in. There's six blocks high when you get it started and go ahead and make sure they are five blocks apart. This will all make sense later. You want there to be enough room to lay the tile wall, the fence, the chain, and the lantern. Once you have these here, you're going to go down and make it three across. Use your temporary blocks and go all the way up again. Take out your temporary blocks over here and you're going to take a step back. You want the tiles on the inward poles to be one step taller. So the tile walls are going to go down with the fence and the chain the exact same way. The only difference is they're going to be one block higher in the middle. Next on the ends here, you'll go down to the level of the chain. You're going to put the walls, and then that's going to lead into the spruce fence gates here. Don't put them the wrong way like I just did. You'll put three out here like so. Then you're going to put the spruce log going right back up into it. Then once you've completed the connection to the land, you're going to go in and actually start the bridge. You're going to put the campfires down, and the way to put them out is to use a shovel on each and every one of these. Once all the fire is extinguished, you can actually just make sure to check all the sides. Get the spruce trap doors lined up on the side right here, and then it'll start to look like this. Next, on the block of the log, right above the trap doors, you're going to put some spruce fence gates in between the tile walls here, so it's going to look just like this. Now, we will finish the walls and gate structure on the inside in a little bit to make it seem a little bit more sturdy, but for now, we're going to put these stairs around the edges just like this. Labs will come in from the other side as well until they get to the tippy top where they will meet at a stair right here. If you put a stair on the other side, then you can actually fix each of these with a lantern, and you're going to do this on every side here. Make sure to clear out any land that might be in the way of the start of the bridge. You're going to go up to the bridge and put a row of stairs leading into one more row of stairs. We're then going to line up over here with slabs. We'll put slabs on the bottom half of the block right there, and we can put spruce trap doors right here. There should be five. To complete the roof, every time there's a log, we can go ahead and assume there's going to be campfires in that spot, and we're going to do that every single time. We're going to put oak planks uh, to the side of each of all of the campfires. The oak slabs are going to be next. You're going to line these up as well. Then we're going to line the middle with the slabs, and then we'll turn the first, third, and fifth into planks. Line the top of all of these with a trap door so nothing can spawn on it. Next, you're going to take out the center three slabs, and you're going to replace them with your favorite leaves. Right now, I'm using azalea leaf. This is going to add a little bit of color, and what you can also do is line it up with these signs right here so that it looks like they are contained. Under the roof, we're just going to make sure that no leaves are exposed, so we're just going to line all of this up with trap doors, and this will also make it look a little bit more colorful under here as well. Just so that there's no cracks of air right there, you can line up where the campfires are as well. Finishing up the details, go ahead and put the last of the walls right here, and on the inside, you can do the same thing. You're just going to skip, put a fence in between each of the walls. Next, you can take the ends of each of the trap doors next to where the lanterns are. You can add two fences and a gate on each side here, and then you can, if you want for more lighting, add two lanterns on each side, and this is going to light up the path. Next, we're just going to add lanterns on each of the corners here. Going to do that on the other side as well. And then we're going to add spruce trap doors here so you can have a little bit more cover in case it rains on the end of the bridge's roof. We're going to add additional trap doors to the side here as well to give it a little bit more texture. Next, go ahead and strip all of the wood. Next, I like to go down to the bottom of every log that's in the water and surround it on its bottom log with spruce signs just so it makes it seem a little bit more thick on the bottom. And next, for just a little bit more texture, we're adding oak buttons to the log right above where the signs are placed. If you don't want the campfires exposed, you can go under here and place trap doors throughout the entirety. You can take some of these oak buttons out if you want to place trap doors instead. We're going to finish decorating the sides by placing either a glowstone or a shroom light. It's, uh, it's up to you, but then I'm going to replace the oak trap doors around it, and that's because you can still see a little bit through the oak trap doors, so you can still get a couple, a little bit of that cube lantern feel at the top right there. We are then going to place walls around the sides, followed by fences, and then that's going to lead to another wall. Next, you'll just put two composters and two azalea bushes right on top to make it seem like a, a nice green flowery entrance. One last thing I'll do is come in with the tile wall, place a lantern right below that, just so I can get a little bit of light just for the entrance here. 
and that should finish it off if you can go through if, there, if you want any other decoration points like if you want to put more trap doors in here if you want to feel free to go ahead this is what i like to do for the inside it's nice and minimalistic the outside is nice and detailed but yeah guys thank you so much for joining today i really do appreciate you watching the tutorial you can build whatever path you want into the, the bridges as well uh, but yeah everybody thank you for joining the discord if, if you're in the patreon i appreciate you Thanks for joining on all of the live Twitch streams. Thanks for liking and subscribing to all the videos. I really do appreciate you guys. Well, th thank you so much. Again, just have a good day and take care of yourselves. Bye.